And of course, Ween's channel, you know, it, it's it's basically all just drama and hating on people. So I just blocked him. You're just an asshole. On today's topic, we have a bit of a story time as well as a critical commentary. And I'm going to say critical commentary for the sake of YouTube because everybody knows that my commentaries are a bit more critical than a commentary. So, to start off, I was I was doing a little bit of trolling as you do. Actually, this happened with a buddy of mine, Cynic the Original. You may know him from our little collaboration where we called out Midnight for his subpar content at the time. Anyways, I happened to be on Discord and at the moment I joined a VC and Cynic the Original server with him and a few other people in it and saw that they were uh, trolling this man who from the pixelated view of somebody sharing their screen it looked to me like a 14 year old uh, crackhead. From the point I joined I saw some kid trying to uh, beat up his chair and screaming at the top of his voice about some sort of microtransactions. But point being he was whining about it on his little video so we decided to do a little trolling. We left some comments. We uh, went to his Twitter. The only reason we went to his Twitter and further it was because he started responding to our comments and getting all salty and taking it seriously. And you know you can really fucking troll somebody when they start taking it seriously. So he was basically just giving us ammo and we were just still just- we- we went at it like as long as we possibly could, which was in retrospect about 45 minutes. He blocked me on Twitter, I got in my 30 seconds of monthly use, I gave him a little shout out on my uh, community tab, and then tried to reach out to him on Discord, which he uh, blocked me while I was driving to the park. Either way, afterwards he got salty, made a video titled Reacting to My Worst Video, where he reacts to his own 9 minute video in a 40 minute long video where he basically just says, Yeah, I stand by what I said in this video, while subtly putting in hints here and there that maybe he didn't do as good a job as he thought he did, making himself look somewhat better with this pseudo apology. All in all, I don't care about the microtransactions in Doom Eternal, I'm not gonna spend money on it. I don't care that this guy has an issue with microtransactions in Doom Eternal. He just handled it in a kind of really fucking stupid way. If you do actually care about the content of the video and you want to see an actual commentary on that, then I'll link you to uh, a British potato who made a response to this five months prior, who just recently got a shout out from Kyle due to the fact that he responded to like everybody and mass in his recent video about a week ago. I'm only here to cover the aspect of the fact that he couldn't handle any of the fucking trolling that took place. I'm this close. I'm this close to beating the shit out of my chair. What are you doing? One thing I do want to say is that if that's your style of expressing yourself, keep doing it. Don't make yourself so somber like you did for this entire video just for the sake of trying to appeal to people. Not everybody should like your content because that's just never gonna fucking happen. Not everybody can agree on everything. However, this video with the combination of the topic, the take, and the style of expression, it was pretty fucking funny in the sake that we had a good time making fun of it, hence the trollage. And I'm not here to say that your content is bad, it's just the way that you handled the trolling and the criticism that was rather humorous, in my opinion. Anyways, now that we can make it to the actual video, let's just start out by the little bit that started it all, the comment that my buddy Cynic left. The Doom community deserves better, guys. Who made this guy the dictator on who's better? Dude thinks he's like the Joker or something. I can't believe anybody listens to this guy. One thing that I can't stand is the fact that he takes this completely out of context. That was the uh, video that we made on Midnight, and in context, it makes sense. However, he's using it like this somehow correlates to his channel and the general community overall, as in everybody's doing something wrong, which no, they're not. Not everything we say has to correlate with you. More on that later. Also, pointing something out doesn't make you the fucking Joker, Jesus Christ. Every once in a while, I come back to watch this video. This is the comment that Cynic left on the uh, microtransactions video, and he speaks really fucking slow, so I'm gonna speed it up. It reminds me to be humble for a few reasons. One, I don't look like the typical anime wife that ends up in every R34 Japanese video on a sketchy website. Two, I'm not afraid to get beat by my daddy for being a little upset. Hold up, that came off wrong. I don't have a daddy. Three, I've learned life is full of compromises and disappointments. Four, never punish my chair. Very terrifying to be inanimate objects. Thank you, Kyle, for this eye opener. Left a like, comment, subscription, and a few extra bucks to help with your chair punching obsession. P.S. I'm keeping track of how long this is up. Jesus Christ, what are you gonna twirl your mustache next? 
So yeah, this was the comment that started it all. I did leave my own comment, which um, I couldn't find where he mentioned it in the video because it was 40 minutes long and I had already skimmed through it and couldn't find it the first time. So I'm not going to go back, but it has something to do with me calling him a 14-year-old crackhead or something. I don't know. It could have come off as comical the way I said it. What are you doing? People will make targeted hate videos on you. And yes, I mean targeted hate videos. Targeted hate videos is as in like straight up like just insults they try to brush it off as critique or this is my style of critique this is my style of expressing myself no you're just an asshole yeah i'm an asshole with critique and if you can be a crackhead on camera for your style of expression i can be a little bit more um critical with my critiques so if you want some constructive criticism i'm going to say don't listen to people who say that you look like a crackhead keep being a crackhead on camera because that's your style i know that it doesn't sound good when i call you a crackhead but that's the way it looks to me at very least i know some people enjoy it they may be you know sub 13 year old viewers however it works for you so keep it up i know you enjoy your own content maybe just take a double take before you upload your video and think well will this come off to a broader audience as good then ask yourself do i care and if either of those line up with your goals then go for it I'm not here to tell you that you need to change your content or stop uploading. I'm just here to say, um, we're trolling. Take it as a troll. Don't take advice without criticism, and don't take criticism without advice. Otherwise, you'll be either pissed off or in a circle jerk for the rest of your life. And neither of those are productive. I tried to go into this with a bit more of an open mind, per se. I tried to view it from your side, and when I watch this clip back, well, these two clips, actually, um... I can see that you really didn't do the same. Not a lot of people like this video. And I can totally see why people didn't like it. I didn't need to yell as loudly as I did. There's stuff that I do regret and I'm still going to defend some of the things I said in this video because I still believe some of the things I said in this video. Because people didn't look at this and get mad because you were yelling too much or beating up your chair. They were a bit peeved because you saw that your favorite game inserted a mechanic that every single other AAA title almost, has already implemented for the sake of the consumer nonetheless, so people can get things they missed out on without actually viewing the market and what was relevant to what companies are already doing. They were upset by your impulsiveness to get your uneducated opinion out there. And once again, in this video, you prove that you put your opinion before research or a slight perspective change. So uh, it's just sad, really. It's just sad, really. Like that's your style of videos. That's your content is just harassing other people. If you'd look past some of the titles and actually watched some of my takes, it was a bit more than just harassment. Yes, I do use that. However, I do put effort towards thinking critically about these situations. That is, unless I'm trolling, like what I did with your fucking Twitter. Then yes, that was harassment. But in this context, the videos? No. And then right here, you just have some really, really weird behavior. This dude, said that I was a 14 year old meth addict. Most people don't like it when you say that to them. No oh, fuck, there's the comment. Never mind, I can find it. It's right there. So I blocked him. Dude got really mad that I blocked him. Dude has 35,000 subscribers, by the way. Oh no, this guy has a bigger following than me. Dude, shut the fuck up. Nobody gives a shit about numbers. It's my hobby and it's your hobby. YouTube should be and is nothing more than that unless you're making money off of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of subscribers, which I'm not. And if I said that your opinion was invalid because you had less subscribers than me, you would pull the same card and say, numbers don't matter. Don't lie, you would. I said, we don't care. Yeah, I mean, he added me. He added my YouTube channel. So blah, blah, blah. Can't handle trolls. I said, yeah, that's why I block him. That's why you're blocked. Except he doesn't just block them. He tries to respond and make a valid argument against them. And when he doesn't and he can't respond with something logical, then he blocks them. It's a phenomenal cycle. And it really doesn't work out in his favor. This method that he has here is the reason why he attracts so much trolls. That was such a good singer. Good one, Kyle. Pardon my autism, but I actually can't tell if he's being serious or not. Either way, I'm just gonna move on. Then he literally admits to trolling. 
why you literally couldn't fucking tell from the last comment that I made about me trolling you, or maybe the fact that I trolled you in my community post, or that I trolled you on Twitter, or that I trolled you in your comments section beforehand? It took you this long? Your observation skills are fucking phenomenal. You could be the next Sherlock. So I said, literally admits to trolling, lol. And then you got his little dick riders just constantly adding me. You don't you don't care. If you don't care, then why'd you respond? Okay, I know it's such a common response, but if you didn't care, why did you respond? Like it's a valid point. The hell does this guy mean? Because we do a little trolling. 35,000 subscribers, by the way. You fucking cry about it. Never tried to hide the fact that I was trolling. It's my sole purpose on the internet. The fact that it took you so long to figure that out is kind of sad. I never tried to hide the fact that I was trolling. The fact that it took you that long to figure it out is kind of sad. See how it doesn't sound sadistical and evil when I say it? Well, that's because I didn't mean it like that. I was genuinely fucking trolling. Who would have guessed? And the fact that you read it back like that at this point in your video shows me that you still think that I'm just trying to cover up the fact that I actually had an opinion on you in the first place. At the time, just get over the fact that some people don't care as much. Oh, weird. It doesn't say ween there. It's odd. Oh, guys, look. Point and laugh. He pulled up the funny you're a virgin joke. First of all, no, I'm not. Second of all, overused joke. Third of all, what the fuck does getting sex have to do with opinions or being able to take criticism on the internet? And lastly, why are you using that joke when you genuinely turned on your camera looking like that? I mean, I didn't want to come down to insulting your appearance, but as- but I mean, you used the virgin joke, so I feel like I have a little bit of a pass here. He added me on Discord after I clearly didn't want to talk to him. But, you know, the kind of person I am, I replied, what's good? And then I thought about it for like five minutes or so. And then I was like, eh, you took too long to reply. And I blocked him. I just blocked him because I should have blocked him in the first place. I shouldn't even have said what's good. I should have just immediately said Nope. This is the best part because I had just ended the VC in Cynic server. Well, I left it and they're probably still in there for a little bit longer. And I added him on Discord so I could tell him, yes, I was trolling. Please don't take this too seriously. I was trolling and he didn't respond for a good 10 minutes. So I went for my daily drive to the park. And when I got there, I saw two messages from him which said, what's good? Never mind, you took too long to respond and he blocked me. In the span of time it takes to literally drive two blocks. So yeah, here we are now. And look at this, dude. The funniest part. He's friends with Cynic, the original. I looked at Ween's channel. And of course, Ween's channel, you know, it, it's it's basically all just drama and hating on people, so. Yeah, it's really easy to look at it like that when you got completely fucking trolled, isn't it? Which, I'm gonna just go out there and say it. When I troll people on the internet, it usually does not correlate with my content on YouTube, unless I state it in the video. So, just keep that in mind, guys. Look, it's something about Midnight's Apology video or whatever. I'll probably see a video of him reacting to this one. Well, thanks for the great idea. Yeah, they're, they're friends. So, Cynic got called out by me. So Cynic ran to his little buddy Ween. So yeah, bravo guys. I just gotta say this before anybody else does. Cynic in no way came to me telling me that he was getting harassed or needed help trolling this guy. I saw that VC with him in it and I joined of my own free will because I hadn't talked to him in a while. I just partook in it because I like trolling. I'm not doing this to defend Cynic. I'm doing this because it's a good video topic. However, in retrospect, Cynic had very actual little to do with this whole trolling thing. Like, he put one comment on it and then made a Twitter response or some shit. Like, the rest of it was me and a few other people, the majority of it. So I don't know why he's so mad at Cynic. Now, I want to say this was never supposed to be drama. More of just a wake-up call to Midnight over here. Never tried to hide the fact that I was trolling. It's my sole purpose on the internet. This was never supposed to be drama.
Okay, I watched this at least five fucking times. Somebody tell me how this makes sense. Somebody tell me how me trolling has to correlate with something not being related to drama. If anything, they support each other. And why does the Midnight video have anything to do with you? I just don't have the willingness to look through this and cherry pick all of the tiny little details out of it. This is a certified room temperature IQ moment. I'm pretty sure you can look at that for yourself and just be like, what? Please nobody go and bring any hate to any of the people that I talked about in this video. Same goes for you fuckers. You better leave the hate to me. So with that, my hoes and homos, I'm going to wrap it up. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like. And if you didn't, you already clicked off. If you really enjoyed this, consider subscribing or consider considering any of the links down below to help out my college ramen fund. Or not, because not giving a shit is also completely natural. With all that said, until next time, I love you all. Goodbye. <laughs>